In this video, I will show you how to fix an error when you try to run your software updater. As you can see on my screen, and for time's sake, I went ahead and had the error message on my screen. I do get the error that says failed to download repository information. It says check your internet connection. As you can see up here, my internet connection is connected and it has a four out of the five bars, so it should get the repository information. It's not my internet connection. I can hit try again, but more than likely it's still going to come up with the same error message. Uh, but normally if your air internet is the problem, hitting try again can sometimes fix it. In this case, I can hit try again, try again, try again, and it will not fix the error. But if I hit OK, it will go past the error message and it will look online and see if I have any updates. So it, it will. All right, there it goes it's going to start searching again and it will go beyond the error and as you can see it says no software updates are available that's because earlier today I got updates but I did notice the problem and I started to fix it. I thought this would make a great video showing how to fix it now to start with uh, to, let's identify the problem uh, in this case I'm using Google and I am using my remote desktop because I do have a Chromebook uh, and I'm using Google Chrome on other devices. So one way that I can check that Chrome and the remote desktop is the uh, problem is I can go sudo sudo apt get update to update my repository. And I put my password. Once I put my password, it's going to start updating uh, my repositories, and it will show you the repository, the PPA that's causing the problem, and it will be Google. But instead of fixing out, I decided to wait and show you on a video. So if someone else is experiencing this problem. Now, this will not fix every problem when you're running into uh, with that uh, internet connection failure to update. But as you can see here, it says repository, the Google Linux Chrome uh, stable release changed its origin, the value from Google Inc. to Google LLC. So what we have to accept this before the update so the repository can be applied. It says see app secure eight man pages for details. A way to fix this is you can go sudo apt instead of app get as we did up here at the beginning. We're going to leave off the get part. We're just going to go sudo apt space update. Now it's going to go through and do do, do something very similar. Notice the very bottom it is a different color. Now here's the message that's going to fix it. There's the same thing. It's been replaced with Google Inc. It needs replacing with Google LLC because they renamed uh, the PPA. To, I have to accept this. Now, when I had app get, it didn't allow me to uh, accept the changes. Here, I can. I just hit Y and press the Enter key. And it's going to accept the changes. Now, it's going to go through. And it should complete this process without any error messages. Uh, one package can be upgraded and I'll, I'll do that later. I'm going to exit. Now I'm going to bring back up my updater. I'm going to go to my system administration. I'm going to go to my software updater and in a moment or two it will start going through my software updater. It says checking for updates. It's going through and updating my PPA list just like I did when I went sudo apt or apt get update. But the apt is the, the feature that I needed to use that will allow me to uh, save the changes from Google Inc. to Google LLC. And you should notice when it's finished, it's updating. There's the one uh, update that it told me in my terminal, which was Google Chrome. That was my update that I needed. So I can say install it now. And once it installs the new Google Chrome, all my updates should be uh, completed. But I will let it finish, and I'll go through and run it one more time. I'll put my password. All right, it's going to go and download my, my newest version of Google Chrome. And once it does, it will tell me that my system has been uh, updated. And I will run it one more time to make sure there's no error messages and to make sure that I do have all of my updates. So I'm going to let it run in its entirety. I'm not going to pause it or stop it or something. Because like I said once in a video before, I have watched videos before 
and people pause or stop and then you go back and look at the time and I wonder what they did when they paused it if they did something uh, to their machine so I'm gonna let it run from beginning to end now it's going through and installing it, it downloaded Google Chrome it's installing it and configuring it and now it says installed Google Chrome to the stable version and uh, as you can see across the top it's installing but it says installed it's finalizing it and it will go through and it says the all the software on this computer is up to date I'm gonna run it one more time to make sure that my error is gone so I go to the software updater it take a moment or two and it's gonna check my PPAs update my PPAs make sure that they're up to date And, and there should be no updates because the last update that I got was my uh, update unless for some reason someone just recently posted an update uh, while I'm making this video there should be no updates okay there we go it says the software on the this computer is up to date so if you were getting that update error message and it was telling you to check your internet uh, please go into your terminal and type in sudo s u d o space apt a p t space update u p d a t e and press the return key or the enter key on your keyboard and when it prompts you to make the changes from Google Inc to Google LLC press Y on your keyboard and press the return key and that will update your PPAs and will fix the error message like I said this will not fix every update error message it will only fix your error if you haven't updated your Google PPA so if you're experiencing this problem hopefully that it fixes it I appreciate you watching this video and take care